All right, so I've been meaning to upgrade the SSD and perform a fresh Windows install on my Dell XPS 9 300 for a while now. If you haven't watched my recent video, I cover some of the major problems I've been having with this Dell XPS recently, and it's kind of pushed me to consider doing this. I'll link that video in the description below, but first, let's get started onto prepping a fresh Windows installation. So firstly, ensure you transfer all the files that you want to back up onto an external hard drive. I like to create a transfer folder on my external hard drive where I essentially just copy all my main folders like the downloads, the documents, the video folder, all onto the external hard drive. The next step is to prep a sacrificial USB stick as really the vessel for your Windows 10 ISO. Now, I would recommend at the very least to have eight gigabytes of storage on that USB and be sure that you're happy to wipe it completely clean. Once you have that ready, Google Windows ISO disk image, click on the Microsoft website named Windows ISO, download the media creation tool and run it. So you have to accept the license terms, click create installation media, choose the USB flash drive as the media of choice and select the USB flash drive you intend to use. Now, the reason why I recommend this method over the inbuilt Windows recovery method is that by way of doing this, you are essentially installing Windows devoid of any unnecessary bloatware. It's like creating your own developer edition of Windows. Now, because of this, you will still want to download some essential drivers whilst the creation tool is doing its thing. Go to the Waddell website, find where the XPS drivers are and pick the ones you intend to use alongside the fresh Windows 10 install. At a bare minimum, this should include the Wi-Fi driver as well as the Dell update tool. This will give you access to the plethora of other essential drivers and tools that you may want to use once you have Windows up and running. Alternatively, you can just go ham and find the drivers that you want to download right there and then. Once the ISO is loaded onto the drive, you can then transfer those Dell drivers you have downloaded onto the same USB drive, preferably in a separate folder. And then that's it for the USB bootable drive part at least. Um, now we are ready to move on to replacing the pre-existing SSD with a new one. If you just wanna know how to freshly install Windows on your Dell, then you can skip ahead by clicking on the timestamp I have created in the description below. Okay, so the essential equipment you need to replace the SSD, of course, is a new SSD. Here I have the WD Blue M.2 two terabyte SSD. You will need a plastic tool of some sort, whether it be something like this blue plastic tool or a guitar pick to pry open the case. You will need one Phillips head screwdriver and that's for the heat sink of the SSD. And you'll also need a T5 Torx screw and these are for the eight T5 screws on the bottom panel of the Dell. So flipping the Dell over, you can see the bottom plate secured by those T5 Torx screws undo them and then pry open the case gently with your designated guitar pick or plastic tool. Be aware that there are several clips that hold that bottom plate in place. So you need to carefully work around the laptop to unclip each one. It can be a bit tricky and you just need to be patient. Now that we have access to the motherboard, you can opt to disconnect the power cable to ensure that you don't short circuit the board. I was lazy and didn't do this, so don't be me. Now, unscrew the SSD heatsink with your Phillips head screwdriver. Do note that there is a cable that is hooked into the heatsink, heat so be careful to remove that cable before gently rotating that heatsink to the side. Pop the previous SSD or pre-existing SSD out and grab your new SSD. Be sure to line it up carefully with the M.2 slot, then gently push it into place. You'll feel some semblance of a click when you do so. It should be secure now, so place the heat sink on top, being sure to re-hook that adjacent cable into the heat sink and screw it all into place. Now reconnect your battery if you have disconnected it and pop the bottom plate of your laptop back on. Now before screwing back everything in place, I would do a quick check to ensure the system can boot. So flip it over, check to see whether it can boot. Once you can confirm this, pop the screws back into the bottom plate in place and that's it, you're done. Now, I have to say, it's been a while since I've been able to upgrade components of my laptop like this, so I have to applaud Dell for having the guts to revert back to this user upgrade ability. Seriously, it's a big plus for all the new XPS lines, particularly the XPS 15 and 17, which both have 
RAM and hard drive upgradability. Finally, it's time to get some fresh windows installed on this XPS laptop. Boot the laptop with the USB in, spam the F12 button and you will reach a boot up screen. On the left hand panel, select the bootable USB stick that you plugged in and the laptop will reboot into the Windows installation process. You don't need to enter an activation code, just skip ahead. The option will be automatically registered as part of the XPS model. So this whole process takes a while and to ensure nothing goes wrong, I would recommend plugging it into a power source just in case. Once you have Windows set up and it's up and running, you can go ahead and install the drivers from the USB stick that you up uploaded earlier. Most importantly, install that Wi-Fi driver because once you do that, you can run Windows Update and Dell Update and you can get everything else you need. So that's it. I hope you guys found that video useful. If you are like me and you have way too many software bugs to do with your Dell, it's a bit of a pain, but perhaps this might be a way of solving all those issues. I'll make a follow-up video just for you guys in a couple of weeks time to let you know if it's made any difference to my user experience. Hopefully it does, but I will keep you posted. So until then, I'll see you guys later. Thanks.